And do you agree with me that the ultimate decision on whether it's constitutional or not will be the United States Supreme Court? Absolutely, without question. And sometime within the next year and a half. And we ought to hurry it up and decide it as soon as possible if we, if we can. All right. It's solely in the discretion right, of the Supreme Court to accelerate it. All right, you say in the next year and a half. Do you have a date on yours to go to the Court of Appeals sometime in May for an oral argument? Yes. Then there'll be a decision, and then from there you go to the Supreme Court. But here's the problem, is that if President Obama joined with you to ask the United States Supreme Court to please accelerate this as well as the other 26 states in Florida, this would get bypassed to go right to the Supreme Court and would be decided. We would waste a lot of money, a lot of implementation, and everyone could stop playing lawyer and have it decided once and for all. Have you asked President Obama, please join us and ask to go to the Supreme Court, stop wasting money and time? Yes, we did, and spent um, seven weeks, really, in, in the course of that discussion with back and forth with the Department of Justice. And uh, when it was all said and done, they declined, really didn't give much of a reason. Uh, we, we learned their alleged reason in the newspaper, unfortunately. Um, they, they, because Virginia has a special statute that protects Virginians from being ordered to buy health insurance against their will. Um, they said that that was a reason that this case should be treated differently and go slowly and shouldn't come up to the Supreme Court more quickly, but that has nothing to do with whether or not the individual mandate is constitutional or not. Not a thing, and they know it. And you know what? I am absolutely certain, because I know this would take two minutes to just change the cover sheet on your existing plea. It doesn't need any more witnesses, right. no more evidence or anything. Just change nope. the cover sheet and boot it up to the Supreme Court. I am absolutely certain that the federal government, that the Obama administration is gaming you and the 26 other states because they wanted to drag out to get implemented. We're going to waste tons and tons and tons of money. And we don't know the end result of the Supreme Court, but it's the worst case of gaming the American people, and health care is so vital and money is so important that it's just us getting gamed terribly. It's disgraceful. Well, Greta, and, and remember part of what you said there, uh, if you set all the money aside, if you set the decision timeline aside, we have frozen real health care reform in its tracks until this is resolved. If, as we hope, the court strikes this law, as Judge Vincent did in Florida, then we're starting back at square one for real health care reform, hopefully market-based and not more government, hopefully less government. And But we're frozen now. That is, Those bills aren't going to start proceeding through committees. Yeah. They aren't going to be in the budget until this law is out of the way. And the only way that's going to yeah. happen in the next couple of years is via this court case. And you know, General said, you could actually lose. The Obama administration could actually win yeah. the Supreme Court. We don't know. But, but the thing that I do not understand, in Florida, those state attorney generals, unlike you, they have not asked the Obama administration, as far as I know, to go right to the Supreme Court. I don't know what in the world are they dragging their feet for. I mean, uh, you know, it, this is just so nuts to me that everyone is doing you, this to the American people. I, 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 it's just insane, I think. Go ahead. Yeah, if, if you look at our reply brief, we just filed it on Monday in support of our motion asking the Supreme Court to expedite the case. And just so your viewers know, expedite the case means skip the Court of Appeals entirely. Well, one of the things we referenced was a letter from 28 governors across the country, including almost all, if not all, of the governors in the states in Florida um, to hurry the case along. Now, some of the governors are parties down in the Florida case, but the Supreme Court could also grab that case along with the Virginia case and put them together and expedite them both based on case law that they have already established. So they have a lot of options and, and, here, and but it is all within the discretion of the Supreme Court. And, and the things that we don't know, we, the Obama administration may win. Who knows? I know that you think that you'll win. I have no idea what the Supreme Court's going to do. But the bottom line is the American people are being so gamed in this. It is just, it is absolutely disgraceful. And I get to take the last word on it, so, but I do appreciate you joining us, General. Thank you. Always a pleasure, Greta.